Welcome to the world of Jimmy Big Muscles, where culinary know-how and Instagram fame collide. Jimmy is a master of Italian cuisine thanks to his great big Italian family and passion for good eats. Yeah, he effortlessly whips up dishes that are indulgent and full of love, and he has some pretty a pretty good time doing it. So he's here with us now. So Jimmy, first of all, welcome. And Thank you. what are you making for us today? So today we're going to be making pesto gnocchi. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And you have all the ingredients laid out for us here. Yes, yes. So we could just get started right yeah, now okay. if you want. Tell me what to do. All right, so this is going to be a ricotta based, not a potato. A lot of gnocchi that people have here, usually potato based. Right. So mm -hmm. this one's a little different. Every oh, place and region nice. has their own different recipes. So, so first I'll add in milk, mm -hmm. okay? And you can start stirring once I add in these eggs, okay? Oh, you're really good at yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> have a lot of practice. Okay, there I'm whisking up the egg. Yeah. So you're gonna do that there. until the eggs are like all whisked together in there. And okay. then the next thing you're gonna add is this Flour. fresh ricotta right here, okay? You're doing all the work to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I'll okay. take it. You'll you get in here. Oh, no, you wish, you're doing all right, a great so job. Alright, so keep whisking that in just like that. You normally don't have this around. much help, do you? Um, usually when we make the gnocchi, <laughs> it's, it's a few people helping. If you oh, see really? my videos, my nana and my tia are usually helping me. Yeah. So, or I'm helping them. Your videos, I've seen a lot of them. How did you get started cooking? So I started around a little bit after COVID and I started with a, a wine video. My family makes wine too. Mm. So once I did that video, it kind of blew up and I just took it from there. And I love uh, sharing my culture and Aww. my tr family traditions with everybody. I'm seeing yeah, this that's now. Really nice. Are we flour? adding the flour now? Yes, we're going to slowly add the flour in. Slowly. Just very slow. And you're going to keep doing that until you get a dough consistency. Mm -hmm. This takes a while, so I already got the next step ready for you guys right mm -hmm. here. Feel it thickening up yeah. already. Yeah. So make sure we Is save some of that flour. Okay, save. Yeah. Is that enough or should Yeah, we'll so stop here. So we'll keep doing it until it becomes a dough consistency like that. Right, right now, there. it's okay. Pancake. There we go. All right. Okay. So this is what you do. I form it into a big log, all right? And then I'll take little pieces like this and we'll roll it out, okay? And then we'll cut it out like this. Now, we don't have any fancy equipment. We do this the old-fashioned way. So we use uh, forks to roll it out. So here, each one of you guys want to grab one? Mm -hmm. What does that mean, a fork to roll to it out? Roll so it out. you have to get a shape. The shape of the gnocchi is what holds the sauce. And mm -hmm. that put little like rivets in it. So what I'm going to do, if you need a little bit of flour, that could help if it's a little sticky. Just gonna put your hand right here with your oh, thumb okay. Okay. and just roll it out just like that. Oh! That? Wait. And it takes a few tries to get it right. <laughs> you wanna use some pressure, like you're really pressing it down. Here you go, Mike, you can try again. I don't know that that's quite yeah. like it. That's pretty but... good. Like, see how this one has like a little little crescent shape that holds the sauce in it. Now, how so do that's you what roll? we're gonna do. I never knew so, you're gonna go here and just press down. It comes right off right there. Oh. This is a big one, but okay, I'm getting it. There now. you go. Yeah. There you go. You Speaking got it. Speaking of which, you have to have some muscles to do this. So how did you get your, your name? Jimmy so big the muscles. name started off as a as a joke. It started off as a joke, my friends, and you know I didn't expect the the TikTok video to go viral, and it just stuck after that. You know I felt like it was wrong to change the name. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much fun. Okay, so we've so done that. That's we'll great. We'll get started on the pesto right now. All right, okay. this is Mikey. Mikey's yeah. up. Okay. Now this like... is a great summer recipe. Um, Yes, it is easy to grow basil. Here, do you want to? You can yeah, over come here and help here. Mikey. It's really easy to grow basil in your backyard in a pot. Right. You know, and that's when it tastes best. Pesto in the summer. Is that olive oil? This is extra virgin olive oil. Now you don't want to skip out on any of the ingredients. You want to get the good stuff mm -hmm. here because that's what speaks. I know, so that's you're gonna do the that. A few cloves of garlic. Okay. And then I like to blend that. Give it a little jolt. Uh oh. Press the button here. Yep, just real quick. All right, that's good. And then. We're gonna have pignoli pine nuts. They're oh, pine yeah, nuts you need here. Yeah, some of those. So we're gonna add some of this. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now you can give that a little blend. A yep. See, I know how to use a blender here. <laughs> oh, you can smell it already. Yeah, oh, yeah that has a great aroma. There's something with olive oil. So now and those here's pine your nuts. basil. Mm -hmm. Like I said, fresh basil from the garden is the best there option really here. There really is a difference between Put fresh basil, here. basil, and the stuff that and you Now before we blend that, oh, we're gonna okay. add in some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano right here. This smells so good. Oh. And last, I give it a little pinch of uh, Sicilian sea salt. Mm -hmm. just, just a little bit. Now that goes, blend it up. And you wait until that turns into a paste, kind of like this right here. Turn that up extra hot. Yeah. It'll take a second, so we don't have to blend it all right now. I already okay. got it ready for you guys here on the side. <laughs> so when you, you see, here's it is. Yeah. If you guys want to give that a little taste or smell, you smell Ooh. the basil. Ooh. 
Oh, I can smell it. Mm. Yeah. I know fresh pasta doesn't take as long. Do you boil that still and then just? Yes, mix it, up it with doesn't your take as long though. Yeah. It takes about like five minutes. You'll yeah. see they start to float, and then you kind of know it's ready. Always give a little taste test. And then so we do you want to grade fresh? the Parmesan? Yeah. yeah. All right. Give it with cheese. I know I watched the video before, and you said you like cheese. So. I love cheese. <laughs> I use this one, I love all but kinds you of could use it. <laughs> like parada, like mozzarella. What's, what's, what's your favorite cheese? cheese? Yeah. I love all kinds. I don't discriminate on cheeses. Oh, that looks good. Okay. And do you find that this has been a really bonding experience with your family? It sounds like you guys oh, cooked to begin with, but to make these videos, mm -hmm. I'm sure it's a lot of fun. You're learning a lot, too. It is. And honestly, like everything we video, and what I love the most is I just document what we already do. And yeah. I love whenever I see other people comment on the videos and they can connect with it yeah. because I feel like I'm just pretty much extending a like a virtual chair to our table, you know? Yeah, yeah. I love that. There you go, little basil. Garnish. Okay, All here right, we I go. I have to say, bon appetito. Bon appetito. Oh, oh, thank you so much for coming on. Oh, this thank is you for so having fun. Me. Awesome. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, guys. It's delicious.